Welcome back everybody. Uh, today I've got a mail day from Lance of Something Old Something New Card Rips. Uh, he also commented in the video that he would like to see a cat cards and cars video. Um, we're going to do the best we can. Um, normally he doesn't mind being hell, but I don't think he, he doesn't really enjoy the sitting down part. Uh, apparently he doesn't enjoy the standing up part either. Um, so Lance, I uh, won a pack of cards from Lance's channel. Um, he always includes some extras, so uh, it's not going to last very long with the cat. Um, let's see if we can at least try it. Uh, one of the extras he sent was this Mariano Rivera uh, out of fire. And he knows me well, and he sent me a uh, Jennifer Montana card. Had several of these growing up. Um, not sure what those are. I guess you got them in the regular pro line football packs, but they're the the wife cards. Um, all right. He's not cooperating. Usually he doesn't mind being held. We got a. Chapman out of Heritage. Obviously, it's the uh, from the purple hot box, and we got a Chrome out of the. Uh, I don't forget what year that is. Twenty. And we got the Reggie and the blue parallel. And Garcia rookie red. Very cool card. And I meant to, wanted to add to the last video as far as uh, people in who inspire you. Um, forgot to mention it, uh, was a slightly interrupted. A um, couple of people uh, were the uh, well, he's going to start biting now. For the inspiration, um, I meant to mention that you know there was there's two channels that inspired me to uh, to make videos. Uh, one was the first channel I started watching, which was Brian at Bad Luck Breaks. Uh, now he's renamed the channel to Card Shark Breaks, I believe. Could be wrong. Uh, he doesn't make content anymore. Um, I'll still leave a link down below. Uh, I'm in contact with him. He's, he still collects. Uh, he's doing well, so that's great. Um, and then I I quit doing videos. Uh, didn't want to do them anymore. And um, so Shane of Oddball Cards, he uh, inspired me to make videos again. So you have those two to blame. Um, and as far as making it fun, Shane's channel is definitely fun. Um, he always tells people to, to go back hit the back button but you don't want to do that uh, and his baseball knowledge is up there too so uh, I'm gonna stop this video flip it around and show you all what Lance said over and open up a couple of packs that he sent uh, we'll be right back all right so Rhett has went back inside uh, going to make this rest of this video a lot easier uh, sorry Lance there's no way to really incorporate the car right now um, actually I do have a video planned with the Mach 1 and heritage as soon as I find a find a blaster at least although I guess it would help if I would go looking for it but uh, but that will be coming soon um, did forget two other cards uh, that Lance sit, sent over. We got the Jason Dominguez Emergent. Um, and then the one card, I wasn't planning on doing a video, um, but this kind of, I had to, had to do it when I saw it and give Lance a proper shout out. Um, and I mean, he deserves a shout out anyway, but Lance's 
If you're not familiar, Lance is just a, he's one of the nicest guys in the community. Uh, he's constantly sending people things. He does these amazing packs. Uh, he gives them away weekly on his channel. Um, they're just, they're really great. Uh, I can't believe they're, they're free. Um, and, and he always throws in extra packs with it. And then of course the extra cards and, and the card that I just, I really love. He sent this Allen and Ginter, um, relic card. Uh, the glare is a bit annoying there. Um, uh, so I was just blown away by getting this. Um, you know, it's a Jeter relic. Um, I really love these, these framed relics from Allen and Ginter. Um, and then, of course, got the pinstripe on there. Just a, a really cool relic. And there, it looks like there's a little bit of dirt, maybe. Um, can't really tell. It says game used, memorabilia. Um, you know, I was never... When I first got back into it, I was not a fan of the relic cards. I kind of liked the, the bat relics the best. And over the course of the past year, I've kind of grown fond to the relics. And I actually prefer the... Uh, the cloth relics a little bit more than the bat relics and the reason is i started thinking about it and you know if jeter did w actually wear this i mean it's possible he touched this area of the relic um by handling the um the jersey um so yeah it's possible he actually touched that I and mean, if you think about it, the bat relics although they they are kind of cool there's no possible way they they touch that piece of wood Unless you get the outside part of the bat, which I've never seen. But, anyways, really like that card. Um, and we're going to do a coffee break and uh, looking for things to put in the background. Uh, so, today's uh, coffee is a barrel aged coffee, it's got a brandy, beer, and coffee. That does come from the local coffee shop, Heine Brothers. Um, one thing Lance does on his channel is a weekly wrap up. Um, I don't have anything for the week really. Um, all right, this. Uh, all right, I had to find a different spot for the Jeter. The the glare was getting my nerves. Uh, one of the things that uh. Lance does is a weekly wrap up. I don't have anything for the week. Um, I guess this is more of a six month wrap up. Um, I've not really opened much. Um, opened a few blasters of series one, got a couple of wander base, was lucky enough and sold those, uh, did keep one of them. So it kind of paid for the, for the hangers. Um, but nothing amazing came out of that, and I'm honestly not really a, a huge fan of Series 1 this year. Um, no offense to anyone that likes it. Um, I just, it's not really my thing. And um, so uh, I had uh, started picking up some of the Joe Adels. Um, probably going to chill out a little bit on the Joe Adels. Um, I still like him, but it's just picking up way too much. Uh, got this Sean Kelly out of 2017 Sapphire. It is, um, he's a Louisville guy and started wanting to collect, um, probably not all cards of local players, but at least grab one of every player that, that made it to the big leagues. Um, Includes Will Smith is also from the Louisville area and uh, this is one of the rainbow foils. I believe that's It's out of 264. I don't remember if that's a a Walmart or not um, Or maybe it's out of the hobby set um, Another Joe Adele um, I love the uh, Allen and Ginter X um, actually have a box of this never ripped it um, I'll probably end up selling it. I've got several, several boxes that I'm probably just going to end up selling. Um, not really 
don't know, if I open it, it's it's probably just going to be a bunch of cards that really don't fit the PC, and I'm trying to trying to slim it down a little bit. Um, another local guy that uh, I picked up, and he's actually got a a rookie card in um, Series One, as Drew Ellis. He is actually from Jeffersonville, Indiana, which is even closer to me than than Louisville. It's basically right in right in my backyard. Um, so this is his first, and it is a refractor auto. Um, super cheap card. Don't remember how much I paid for it. it wasn't that much. And um, I made a comment in the other video, you know, about prospecting and stuff and FOMO, which is something I battle. Um, somebody did mention that Willie Castro was really good, so I... Uh, you know, FOMO kicked in and I picked up this Sapphire Auto. Um, actually ended up being super cheap. Um, the person that was selling this had a, uh, I guess, a, a huge discount on their portal portal or something. It was uh, less than 10 bucks, so uh, pretty sweet. Um, it's a beautiful looking card. It's just a... Uh, not really a player I collect, but you know, and again, I, uh, you know, a little bit of FOMO. Somebody mentioned that this dude was good and, um, you know, so hopped on over to Com C and these are all cheap. So it's, it's not that big a deal, but, uh, you know, I did mention prospecting. Uh, uh, it's only fun if they make it, but, uh, and then, uh, of course I, uh, did pick up the Denzel Clark. Um, a few people had mentioned he was good. I think uh, it, it wasn't very much. It is the, uh, oh, it's a sky blue refractor. I don't think that one's numbered, but it is a cool looking card and it was cheap. So uh, prospecting, if it's cheap enough, I, you know, I'll pick up a few. Uh, you know, Hedgehog can be a hypocrite, but like I tell my kids, do as I say, not as I do. But like I said, you know, collect what's fun. And it is kind of fun to, to prospect a little bit. Um, as long as it's cheap enough. Um, somebody mentioned Justin Williams. You shouldn't sleep on him. He was good. I couldn't find a first. This one is numbered out of 50. And it was only like maybe a dollar or two. So it's not that bad. Um, again, I gotta, gotta watch myself on that. Um, another Joe Adele, this is out of Bowman. It is a, uh, really sweet card. Um, and again, like, uh, Shane of Shoebox Legends had mentioned, you know, you can send these guys offers. Um, I think people get confused. Com C is, is similar to eBay. You've got multiple people, you know, selling cards on there and you can offer a low dollar amount and, uh, that person accepted, I think, ten dollars for that, and it was, I think, normally around. Most people were selling it for eighteen or so. Uh, Duval, uh, another local guy that I like to collect. Um, believe that is considered his rookie card, even though it doesn't say it on there. Um, and another. This is the mini. Uh, again, I believe that's a rookie. I know it doesn't say it, but. Uh, I believe that is considered a rookie, similar to the Wander Franco debate, I guess. Although I fall into the camp of you need to be able to pull it out of a pack, um, regular pack. But I also fall into the camp of I don't really care. All right. Um, we're going to save. Man, this video is going quite longer than I expected. Um, we're going to save Lance's back to the end um, we're gonna go with the update all right usually I try to think out what I want to do for a video um, I'm just kind of usually have notes or something written down have a game plan there is no plan for this video so I did open way more update than I should have, and 
yeah, Lance at the pack with the uh, patch card in there. Um, well, we got the uh, Cronenworth debut. I did open a lot more update. Um, they kind of suckered me in with those black gold inserts, even though you can buy them cheaply. There's, I still, I was chasing after those black golds and um, series one this year that I'm not a real huge fan of the inserts. So luckily I can stay away from that. I think we've all seen these here. Well, we got Joey Bart, shout out to Clint. Swing away sports, and we're getting into the middle of the pack. We got a Chrome Alonzo, uh, DeGrom, All Star Game, and uh, we got a Robin Young. This is our patch card. Very cool. And we got a Jazz Chisholm rookie, and I, I really like these how they did the 92, the 65s, Redux in the last years. Not a huge fan of the uh, stars of the game or whatever they call it this year. They're not really doing it for me. All right, so optic uh, must be a fat pack. I did not open open any of these. They are sweet looking cards. Rookie Garcia. That's a nice looking Tatis Diamond Kings. Uh, Stanton for the Yankees. Uh, the lights out are pretty cool. There's a Pedro Martinez. Is the prism so that's a sweet looking card uh, we got some greens back here oh, I guess the Devers is a green Diamond Kings parallel uh, Kirk parallel and not bad for the PC we get the Stanton in the green and got the Max Freed the Grom and lights out and Mackenzie Gore so very nice pack. Thank you, Lance. Lance always hooks it up. Uh, I don't know how he does it. Uh, so this is the pack we've been waiting for. Um, I love these packs. And always try to save the sticker. Although I think Lance has sent me a couple of stickers here Sanchez and that must be that is a prism uh, definitely have the wrong angle on the camera here there's a lot of glare that is a sweet King Griffey Jr. Uh, stadium club really like that card there's a Pache rookie uh, that is a I assume that's a blue it is a prism so that is a sweet card there's a McCovey very nice. There's a Vladdy. That has a sweet looking card. Oh, we got a Kleins. That's 75. That's a really sweet looking card. It is, yeah, it's in really nice shape. We got Ryan Jeffers, Rainbow Foil, and nice. Get a Trout. It's a pretty sweet looking card. There's a McCutcheon, numbered out of 291. 
And he always in these packs always have like a auto or a patch. And we got a Felix George, I guess, auto. So pretty cool. Oh, and we get a patch too. And that is a Blake Forsyth. Oh, and an, another auto. That's crazy. Uh, so we got a Monty Harrison auto. I actually seen this card pulled a few times on other channels and it's there was no auto so that's kind of cool that this one actually has the autograph on it so pretty cool and he always hooks it up and we got a Kendrick that is numbered out of 99 Copic rookie and Jared Kelly first M&S there's no Zuna. Bubik and McKenzie. That's a sweet looking Machado. I've not seen that fire design before. I don't know what year that is. 2017. Very cool. And Akil Badu. That's Huff. Casey Mize. And a Mankata out of Sapphire. That is a sweet looking card. So, gotta love Sapphire. I don't really care who it is. Uh, they're just great looking cards. So, Thank you, Lance. Really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the extras, the packs. Um, as always, that was a, a great mystery pack. Um, so if you're not familiar with Lance, um, I'm pretty sure you are. But anyways, go go check out his channel. Um, great channel. Opens a lot of great stuff. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, take care.